Was it here? No. Um, well. Oh, hey y'all. I'm glad you could join me. I'm trying to build the Johnny's Reloading Bench PID temperature controller, and I can't seem to remember where this red wire goes. You'd think that in four and a half hours of video, he would have covered that. Now, where does this red wire go? On a more serious note, I owe a huge thanks to Dave over at Thorzak777. He saw some issues I was having with the lead getting way too hot in my Lee 420 pot. In a previous video, I let the pot run down further than I had ever done before and didn't realize just how hot that would let the lead get. The excessive heat started to cause several issues. Thorzax had this extra PID controller laying around and was kind enough to send it to me. I've given a little bit of thought to building a PID before, but this really spurred me on. So I went over to Johnny's Reloading Bench and checked out his outstanding videos. He goes step by step through everything you need to know to build a PID controller for your lead pot. Huge thanks to you Johnny, as you made this whole thing stupid simple. As you can see here, I just finished building my own. If you've seen Johnny's videos, you may notice mine looks a little different, but there's only really a few differences. Johnny used an aluminum project box that was 7 inches by 5 inches by 3 inches and I've used a galvanized steel pull box that's 12 inches by 10 inches by 4 inches. So as cool as that nibbling tool was that he found, it didn't do him any good with this galvanized steel. I've got a slightly different thermocouple connector. I used a 25 foot extension cord. Uh, in the back here I used a snap-in uh, receptacle instead of the end of the extension cord. And I used hose clamps to hold this cord in here because that's what I had on hand. I've got wood feet installed on the box instead of the rubber feet like Johnny used. And I put my thermocoupler connector in the back of the box instead of in the front. Here on the PID controller there's some plastic pieces that are supposed to slide on here and keep it tight against this. I didn't have those so I put a uh, post in the middle of the box and got creative with some zip ties. Other than that, it's almost identical to what Johnny did. If you want to watch me assemble mine, hang around for the next few minutes. I'll turn up the speed and the music. If you want to know how to build your own, I'll put links in the description to Johnny's videos.
something's missing. Oh, I know. much better. I've got lights and power and I haven't burned the house down yet. I followed the great videos and the wiring diagrams that Johnny provided and just like Johnny and like I've seen some others report I had to swap the two thermocoupler wires uh, since the temperature going up caused the number on the front here to go down. Other than that smooth operation and that swap took all of about 10 seconds. Thanks again to both Johnny and to Thorzax and Thanks to you for watching. In the next video, I'll figure out how I want to install this into my casting pot. God bless.